Gideon, I wanted to ask you how useful you have found the masterclass. Very, very useful. The highlights have been generally, you know, realizing, making me realize that there are lots of uh, things that um, I would use or tools that I would use having attended this workshop and uh, particularly how one can be able to communicate to various audi audiences using simple language and uh, uh, packed with messages that are easy to understand. As Director of Communication, how have you found the masterclass and how are you going to apply it back home afterwards? Yeah, I found it a very enlightening experience. It was really good to go through the whole process, particularly from the strategy uh, uh, development process through to the planning process. I really liked the fact that we really went to a very granular level in terms of planning. And for me, I've come out of here with a strategy that I'm going to implement directly. And the second thing that I really appreciated is the methodology. It was very interactive and very interesting. And we plan to actually replicate this methodology back home. Nagoni, as, as a scientist, who both lectures and also does research. How have you found the masterclass? Um, it's been interesting, informative. Um, I think for me, what I've learned is the importance of getting everybody on board as you de develop your program. So, for example, we've got a number of different partners we'll be working with. And I think it's important for us to um, make sure that the messages that we uh, are going to be relaying to the beneficiaries are all the same. Um, and different partners have got different uh, ways of doing things. So I think this class will probably help us to deliver a consistent message um, when we train farmers, when we talk to beneficiaries and so on. So yeah, it's been useful from that point of view. Ethel, I wanted to ask you, because of this masterclass, would you do something different when you go back to your normal job? I would certainly do a lot of things different. Um, for instance, as a result of going through the whole process of the strategy preparation for communications, I think it would be a good idea to go through the same process for every project. On uh, scientific uh, presentations, which I think is uh, one of the, 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 the lessons we just learned today, I have always thought that I'm a very good presenter, but when I, I listen to the way to make presentation, particularly on style, I think I've learned quite a lot on how to actually make, make presentation, the good styles of making presentation. Albert, we're almost at the end of six days of intensive training. How do you feel about it all? Well, refreshed, going back home with a lot of information uh, and I think that uh, I'm a changed person because for me communication was not as important as I've gotten it now. I think we have not been able to sell our institution, we have not been able to tell the public what we, we are doing. Of course we have, but not at the, the level of information that I've gotten from this workshop. I guess it delivered more than what I expected in terms of its relevance, it is down to earth, practical, and uh, I'm impressed with the sequencing of the presentations, the issues, and uh, it's, it's intensive though. I wish I can organize a similar training like this for my scientists, for my other directors with the national programs, even for my own communication specialists. I have, I thought my communication guys have done a great job on some of the publications that I shared with you. But when, when I got your inputs, I looked back and oh, there's a room for improvement still. So I guess every one of us in science, in management, have to get the ABC of communicating. Communication Masterclass, it was my first time, my very first time to hear about it and I was a little bit curious because I do already have a, a background in communication and media and so I came in thinking, you know, what will I learn, will there be anything new to learn and it's been a very pleasant surprise. For me what stood out the most was the idea about writing for your audience and not for yourself. We always have to think about 
what's important for the other person and not doing things that make me or the donor happy and that has been great.